Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this mechanical contraption, which is nothing more than an escapement mechanism. For those who follow my channel, you may know that along the years I have built several escapement mechanisms, since there are many ways, many different ways to build an escapement. More than 100 uh, escapement types have been uh, produced uh, through history. But what is an escapement? Well, escapements are historically important because thanks to these mechanisms, uh, people were able to build clocks that were accurate enough. The escapement transforms a rotational movement into an oscillatory movement. But the important thing about this is that the period of oscillation is constant. That is, we have a constant measure of time that we can use to build a clock. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, Consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. This escapement in particular is very easy to make. As you can see, you only need a plastic bottle, some wire that is very strong. I used wire from bicycle spokes, also a wooden stand, and some plastic tubes. The way in which this mechanism works is very simple. This axis here is where we put the rotational motion and as you can see the axis is bent at 90 degrees inside the bottle and this length is larger than the radius of the bottle in such a way that when the axis rotate it pushes the bottle to one side then continues to rotate the bottle moves to the other side, then it pushes again in the other way and the bottle returns. And this process continues in such a way that the bottle will have an oscillatory motion. Now, without the bottle, this axis will simply rotate as fast as it can. But the presence of the bottle uh, the inertia of the bottle makes the movement to be oscillatory with a constant period of time. Therefore, we are turning the rotational motion into an oscillatory motion that has a time constant. Now, how do we make the axis rotate? Well, in my case, there is uh, simply a thread that is wind around the axis and I hang a heavy object on the thread. In the old mechanical clocks, this uh, weight mechanism was also used or also a wind loop mechanism. You need to make a couple of holes in the bottle to insert it in this axis and there is a plastic tube here used to prevent the bottle from moving uh, too far. This vertical part of the rotation axis must be at the center of the bottle. And I use this little alligator clip to prevent the bottle from moving to the other side. And uh, it is important to reduce friction. So here I added a small metal uh, tube because the friction with the wood 
it will be too much and also added a drop of oil here the, we have another plastic tube to prevent the axis from moving and going out of this wood part now i'm going to wind the thread and put it to work I forgot to mention that you need to add some water to the bottle. The water, of course, adds more weight. With more weight, you have more inertia. And if you put more water, the bottle will oscillate slower. And with less water, it oscillates faster. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please visit my patreon page thank you for coming to my channel and see you in the next video